After hearing Dane talking about his ultras for hours and hours, I'm convinced I have to try the ultras for myself. So let's go. Hi there, I'm Alette from Hikeaholics, giving you gear reviews and hike videos from my little country, the Netherlands. We only review gear that's bought by ourselves. We are not sponsored, so we will give you our honest opinion. So if you like to see more of our videos, please give a thumbs up and click this icon here to subscribe to our channel. It really helps a lot to grow our channel. Okay, so now it's unboxing time. I really can't wait. I'm really curious. So let's do this. I'm really excited. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Ooh, I bought the purple ones, as you can see. So my first opinion, I like the design. It's like some red wine color. They have a big toe box, like Dane already said to you in his 4.5 review of the Lone Peak. So normally I use Salomon shoes, Salomon hiking shoes. They have a smaller fit in the front. So I'm really curious how these shoes fit me. So what I immediately noticed, what the Altwire has, are the gator traps. I really like them because my Salomons don't have them. And I already bought dirty girl gators, so I'm really excited to try these on them. So before I go with them on a walk, I will talk about what the shoes have to offer. The weight of one shoe is 265 grams. The stack height is 25 millimeter, so that provides great cushioning. The new Ultra Ego midsole is made of responsive cushioning material, which is also very durable. The shoe has a zero drop, which means the front and the back of the foot is at the same height. The outsole is made of max track rubber with trail claw that provides great grip. The stone guard has a rock plate located in the midsole under the foam to protect the foot from stones. The upper of this Ultra Lone Peak is made out of a breathable mesh. It has laser cut holes for extra readability and water drainage. Hey guys, I'm back for my small 5k hike with the new Ultra Lone Peaks 5.0. And I have to say, maybe Dane is right, because I really like them. I can wiggle with my toes everywhere. They're really comfy. I have no pains, but I only walked for 5K, so I'm really curious about how they walk for a longer distance, let's say 20K or maybe more. The only thing I noticed was this pain in the back. It launched sand or small branches into my shoe. So maybe next time I will wear my gaiters. But my verdict, I'm really positive about them. I'm really curious for longer hikes. And if you have any questions regarding these shoes, don't hesitate to ask me or Dane if you want to know about the male version of the Altras. So if you would like to see more of our gear videos or if you want to see more of these Altras, stay tuned, subscribe to our channel, thumbs up, you know the drill for YouTube. So stay tuned. And like we say goodbye in the Netherlands. Doeg!